Hello AI lovers and welcome to AI Sciences. I am Sajad Mustafa, your instructor, and I'm back with a new library that uh, probably a very underrated library in Python, and it has a lot of uses. That is called PyInstaller. So if you, uh, you're, you're very habitual of writing code in, in Jupyter Notebook or any, any of the Python framework, but you want to convert your code into an executed executable file or exe file in short, what we call it. Uh, I mean, for example, you want to send your file to a non-technical person or you want to send your file to someone, but you do not want, uh, you, you do not want your, the other person to have a look upon your code. Uh, you just want the other person to uh, use your uh, your code uh, without looking upon your code. Uh, how is it possible? All you have to do is you have to convert your Python file into an .exe file. So, for example, if we write a code for uh, for addition of two numbers, let's say a plus b, where a and b are the inputs, and it executes uh, the code and then it uh, returns the result of uh, addition of a and b, which is, for example, c. Right. So, for example, you have written this code in Python and you want your friend to use this code but not look upon the code. Uh, I mean, this is a very, very simple example. Obviously, you don't want to hide this sort of a simple code, but uh, sometimes your code is quite complex and you don't want uh, others to read your code, but you want your others, for example, your clients to use your code. So, in that case, PyInstaller is very useful library. So, let's use it. <laughs> So if we go to the manual of uh, PyInstaller, you can see that. Uh, I mean, you, you you can you can read it. Uh, uh, to me, I mean, it it also uh, tells you how can you install the PyInstaller in Mac, Windows, and stuff like that, and how can you use it. And I mean, it has a lot of explanation. So here I'm going to give you a quick demo. So first of all, uh, first thing first, how can you install the library? All you have to do is you have to say. Uh, this magic mark, I mean uh, exclamation mark, and then you'll have to say install pi installer, right? So you you have to run it uh, since I have already installed it on my machine, so probably I don't have to install it again. Um, it is taking some time. However, uh, meanwhile, let's write some code. Yeah, it is done. So it was al already installed. Uh, I mean, you can see that requirement already satisfied. So I, I didn't have to install it. So let me com comment this code for you. Okay. So here, for example, I, I'll say while true. Okay. So I'm going to write an infinite loop. And here I'll say a equals to input so it will uh, it will get an input from the user and also uh, i want to convert that input into uh, integer so i'll say enter value a okay and so i'll be receiving the value um, in variable a also i want to receive the value b as well right so i'll i'll, I'll save it in b and then all I have to do is I'll, I'll just I'll just um, print the sum of a and b. So I'll say sum of a and b is sorry a and b is um, here I'll say a plus b. So this is a very simple code that I have written, and also also um, I, I I'll say uh, if you want to exit it or not, um, uh, let's not do that. Let's, uh, I mean, let's keep it very simple. So uh, this is an infinite loop that will always running. You will enter uh, value of A, value of B, and it will display the value, uh, the sum of these two numbers, right? So, uh, yeah, so let me save, let me download this as, let me download it as, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So I want to do download it as, a dot py file right I'll, I'll download it as dot py file and yeah i'll keep it okay then okay then i'll go to towards the folder and here you can see that this is my dot py file if i'll open it with the notepad just to look upon it how it looks like here is here it is i have just these three or four lines of code in it so mm, yeah um, 
yeah I, I think I should remove this line from from here um, yeah I, I just wrote this line over here for my reference so in initial uh, so uh, um, I mean technically you'll be having only these lines over here so let's close this file and let's open uh, open the anaconda and let's open the power powershell prompt let's launch it and let's go to to the directory where our um, where our uh, that folder is really exciting so it is in desktop in create exe and also uh, the name of the file is pi installer what was that um, mm -hmm. okay so let's go into this folder first and then let's uh, bring on the command that I have already written over here uh, for you guys so you have to write pi installer minus minus one file and then you have to uh, you have to write the name of the file so let me copy this from here let me paste it over here so it says pi installer the name of library minus minus one file and then you paste the name of your your uh, your file over here so let's run it and it will take a little bit of time to make the exe of your code um, okay so it says that pi installer tutorial dot py not found over there okay so there must be some um, mm -hmm, some typo so let's copy the name of this fold copy let's copy it as it is let's come over here and let's paste it over here right now let's run it again let's see what it says now mm -hmm. okay so I stopped the video over there because it takes some time in order to create exe file of uh, of your Python file so let's minimize it and here after running that command you will see um, different folders over here and you have to go to the dist folder and here you will file the you, you will find the exe file so let me run it and here you can see that it says enter value a so let me add 3 then it says enter value B let me add 4 and it says that sum of a and b is 7 so again since since it was an infinite loop so it is again asking for value a so let me enter 5 then let me enter 10 so it says the sum is 15 so now all you have to do is you have to share this exe file with your friend and your friend will be just able to run this file by just double clicking on it so if you double click on it so it will again tell you it will again ask okay uh, enter the number you will enter 12 then you will enter let's say oh, whatever the number and it will tell you the uh, some of these numbers now and also your client or your friend will not be able to you know um, see the code behind it so yeah this was the idea behind um, the thing that we are doing and uh, finally um, we are AI sciences if you are new to artificial intelligence check out our channel link is in the description thank you <laughs>